Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's uh, it's Rad from Radku Tarot, and in this whole video we're going to look into Aquarius week, Aquarius week, uh, December 21st to December 27th, uh, 2020. And uh, just to remind you that uh, right now there is a flash sale going on about the Tarot class, and it's exclusive for the Facebook following. So if you are a Facebook follower, you can and you want to take on the class, uh, you can pretty much message me into the Facebook page messages and uh, I'm going to provide you with links where you can purchase uh, the minor Arcana Tarot class with 50% of the price or uh, a major Arcana Tarot class with 35% of the price. If you're not a Facebook follower and you want to become one, you are going to find links to my Facebook page into the description down below. And not just only about the class, but the content for YouTube is content for YouTube. Facebook has another content. So yeah, in the Facebook, you're going to see me going live, daily readings, astrology posts, and, and everything else that accompanies that kind of activity that it is not on YouTube. So with that being said, uh, let's uh, go for our Aquarius and uh, see what kind of a week they are going to have ahead. Uh, first one that we do have for you guys, that is going to be the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, moving next, we do have the Ace of Cups, followed by, okay, so uh, first one that is the topic of your week, followed by the energies which are feeding and supporting the topic, that will be the Ace of Cups. Moving next, we do have the challenges that you need to overcome and that is going to be the Ace of Swords. Then are the gifts and the blessings that you do get to enjoy. That will be the uh, Page of Pentacles. Next one, we do have the impression that you are going to leave into people when they look at you. That will be the uh, Page of Wands. Followed by the obstacles that are going to hold you back and down, we do have the Lovers. Afterwards, that will be the emperor, and that stands as the positive aspect that uh, you are going that is going to help you push your things through throughout the week. We have the emperor here, and the last one, which is the guidance that Taro is offering to you, that will be the two of swords. Uh, so, uh, quite of a interesting week just hold on a second mm. these lovers there and that ace of swords right so first two the topic and the energies that are feeding up the topic uh, that is something like uh, you know these energies are gonna make you do something or they're gonna bring a thing to you which you are gonna say that's way too good to be true and uh, the topic of the week or how the week is gonna move forward with it's uh, it regards to your hesitation and uh, and to your sense of being suspicious you know, is this not something that beguiles you into uh, into an endeavor that you are not going to like moving forward into the future? But the energies are always pure, Aquarius. And uh, according to the energies of the Ace of Cups, those energies are going to bring love in your life. Now, that doesn't have to be an intimate love, okay? For Ace of, Wands, uh, Ace of Cups, I'm sorry, it's exactly as I said it. It's love for life itself. So you can expect that throughout this week, some, either you are going to do something that these energies are going to make you do, or something is to happen to you, for example, the, uh, the, the experience in the, the, the crossing paths with the person you're going to fall in love with, you know, the job that you would love to work and, and so on and so forth. Regardless, that thing happens and uh, pretty much it will transcend your, uh, your daily routine into a thing that you would love to be a part of. And not just only that, but also resolves a lot of the concerns that uh, you may have by that time. For example, am I, am I ever going to find love again? The camera glitched. So I was at the point that uh, you are about to resolve uh, or your concerns are no longer going to be 
uh, presence, a uh, present. And uh, yeah, about the concern, like, uh, am I ever going to find love again? Or am I ever going to be successful and so on and so forth? Now, <clears throat> that forces you into the topic of the week, which is the Seven of Pentacles once again. And that is going to be the topic of how you can really make it work, how you can really um, get there. Because, you know, uh, what, what we talked about with the energies, it's only the start of it. But how you're going to get to the prime of it, that is going to be concern of yours. And um, this week, you, as a topic, you are going to be most likely more inactive than active that is because you would not want to throw yourself entirely into it and find yourself for example i'm saying you are not going to but i'm saying for example find yourself light find yourself abandoned find yourself fired after that for what you are going to realize about yourself it is that if this doesn't work out and you throw everything you got in it all the hope and uh you know, all the expectations, that is going to devastate you. Uh, moving next, uh, we do have uh, the challenges that you need to overcome, and that is the Ace of Swords, and that is the challenge of being objective in that particular case. It will be challenging for you, Aquarius, to see the, the, the reality of the situation, that that thing which either you did or either it's happening to you, it's, it's real and that will be the entire challenge. So how you can overcome this challenge? Well, you can do so by uh, clinging on your mental strength and on your spiritual uh, endurance, if I may say it that way. Okay, Not allowing the, uh, the negative thoughts and not allowing the uh, sense of being suspicious to spoil or rather like to uh, yeah it's it's to spoil your uh, your experience another thing about the ace of swords it is that you cannot expect something to change or something to simply get better if you don't go a little bit drastic about it the ace of swords in those cases it is those kind of actions that under a totally normal circumstances you wouldn't take because they do hold on a little bit of a risk here and there. It's like cutting off the dead meat, right? The, uh, the rotten meat from one's wound, but when you do so, you have to cut a little bit from the, from the living flesh as well. Moving next, we do have the um, gifts and the blessings that you do get to enjoy, and that is a person, a very uh, faithful companion of yours here, what we do have. Uh, Page of Pentacles are people that are constantly encouraging you to follow the worth in your life. They are going to see what is happening to you, how beautiful it is, and uh, they are not going to allow you to think other way around. So that is a person who wants to see you happy. That is a person who wants to see you uh, successful. That is a person who always thinks for you first before they, they think for themselves. There are such kind of people, thankfully, in this world that we are finding ourselves at. I cannot say that these people were emotionally uh, attached in a sense of that they uh, love you intimately, but that's also a possibility. And now that I think of it could play out in that way, that, uh, you know, uh, a friend of yours that you have a very good terms of, uh, suddenly reveals that they love you for more than a friend and that is the thing that transcends your reality for you realize that you know you love them as well uh, for more than a friendship and uh, now how it's going to work out right for example you may be uh, in a relationship right now they may be in a relationship right now or they may be in another country uh, and there are going to be those kind of like obstacles that will require some kind of a uh, I don't want to say drastic measures but more bold moves in order to be uh, in order to be resolved but the truth is the truth for example you love each other and that's reality and you have to lean to that reality moving forward that is just an example 
Uh, moving next, we do have the impression of the people around. This is how people are going to look at you, what they are going to see when they look at you. And that will be the page of wands. And people are going, when, when they look at you, they're going to see a person who is open for anything new that it is to happen to them. So that itself speaks that people will not going to be able to get a glimpse on your fragile nature within, that you are hesitant, you know, that you are not certain, are you gonna be able to uh, uh, to pull it through, that you may be afraid that you are gonna do something stupid and you're going to ruin the whole thing around, right? Because that's also a, an option. No, people are gonna see you very energetic, people are gonna see you ready for the new beginning. If that's a new beginning for you, people are gonna see you that you are strong for you do have something they don't and that may be a predisposition here for jealousy, so you have to be careful whom you are placing your hopes at. Uh, moving next, we do have the challenges, the obstacles which are gonna hold you back and down, and that relates to the Ace of Swords here. We do have the lovers, it's pretty clear that's about the decision. You are going to think that you, you have um, two choices, one is wrong and one is right, but with the lovers there is no right or wrong decision. And not making the decision here, it will be the obstacle that is going to hold you back and down. As soon as you make up your mind in terms of, yes, I'm throwing everything I got into this, or no, I'm going to take my leave, leave, uh, your, your life is going to regain back its balance, is going to become harmonious. What the cards advising you? Throw yourself into it completely. But that's what the cards are advising you, okay? Ultimately, your decisions are yours to make, not to the cards. Uh, not making that choice, the longer you delay making up the choice, should you take uh, advantage rather of this um, I would say spontaneous event uh, is going to cause more and more problems to, uh, to appear and as soon as you make up your mind those problems are going to disappear just as fast as they had appeared beforehand. But it's going to be uh, scary here for uh, it kind of those cards predispose a leap toward the unknown. Moving next we do have the uh, positive aspects which are going to hold you, uh, which are going to help you push your things through, and that are the positive aspects of the emperor. Uh, this is very circumstantial, if I may, uh, or collateral, if I may say it that way. So, what is going to help you push forward is the sense of responsibility that you do have and the sense of reliability as well. So. Uh, it's a good thing that you are going to delay a little bit, and I'm saying a little bit your decision, because with the emperor, before you decide, do you want to go for it or not? For example, if that's love, do you want to experience that love or not? Um, you would want to have it so that ups and downs you are about to face there are much more bearable than if they, uh, if they are to happen under a circumstances that you both are just carry on with the current and whatever happens, happens. That's not the way how you would want to, to have the thing around. You would want to have the thing around very structured, very consistent, very, how can I say, in control. And uh, that's a good thing and this is what you need to aim for to establish a plan of controlling the career, to controlling the love, to controlling, you know, the interaction or whatever event that is, because it could relate to that you are looking for a new uh, home to rent, you can't find, and suddenly in this, uh, in this week, uh, a, a new apartment appeared that is completely within your budget, is in an excellent place, uh, and, in, and it's a beautiful within, you know, very, how can I say, maintained and pretty much resolves all of your issues in terms of where you're going to live from now on, right? But you would want to make your contract very well, that it is consistent, that it is with all the stipulations in there, that whatever is to happen out of the ordinary, you will have control over the life and over where you are going to be. And the last card, which is the guidance that Tarot is offering here, we do have the Two of Swords. And the uh, Two of Swords, in your case, Aquarius, it, it, it points that you need to have peace, 
okay? You need to have peace with yourself. And uh, not taking that decision, it's only going to wreak havoc. So with the Two of Swords, it's very important to decide in favor of what you can live with rather than of what you would regret not making as a decision, okay? Uh, and one last thing as a guidance here, it is that you need to gather as much information as you can for the endeavor itself. For example, for the person that you are falling in love with, for the job that it is offered, for the apartment that you may rent, because um, there will be a consecutive decision making after this week moving forward. And at that point, the more you are forewarned, the more you are going to be forearmed. So that being said, Aquarius, this was your a weekly general tarot reading for the upcoming week, December 21st to December 27, 2020. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys, and we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.